Hey guys. I've got a cup of coffee here. I even have an apple tone over here. So you know this is a serious coffee time with Cobra. <laughs> Where does one begin? Um, I had a crisis of faith um, after my heart issues and going to the hospital and seeing my daughter and <clears throat> excuse me and seeing my daughter um, for the first time afterwards it um, was a somber moment it brought a lot of things home for me and um That's when I realised that I need to do better. I have to do better. I must do better. And how that came about was... Long story short, how it came about was the fact that I... Um, I realised that My father passed away when I was 10. So technically my daughter's had more than I have had. And that's fine. I don't blame anyone in particular. I don't punish anyone in particular. You know, my daughter didn't cause my father to, to die young. You know, things of that nature. But let me get back to the crisis part. I was laying on that bed, reading a book, and I got a flea up my ass about streaming. So I just powered up the machine, like I have now, like I did, like I'm doing now. Went live and just started talking and ranting and God. so many people of my old followers uh, jumped in at the chat, including one of them who I've known for <laughs> over five years plus, and that's Dust David Games DDG, and he donated money to my PayPal, and I didn't realise it until I saw it, and I'll insert a clip. And, you know, like I said, I don't have the, the, the dono button thing set up. Dude, holy crap. Bro, thank you for the 150. Dude, God bless you. Your wife and your beautiful child, you are a saint. You have no idea how much I needed that money. Thank you so much. Thank you. That that bless you, man. Bless you. Bless your heart. Bless bless just bless you. Thank you, God. Thank you, David. Thank you for being my life. Thank you for being my friend. Thank you. Um, this is, I'm not joking, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, of, the, the, of when it happened. And... I remember before I went live, I said a little prayer to myself. And since then, you know, good things have happened to me. And... I don't pray 
for myself, I pray for others. And what I mean by that is, I don't pray that I win the lottery. I mean, I used to, of course, but I don't do that anymore. I pray that whoever does win deserves it. That whoever does win does some good with it. You know, takes that blessing and blesses others kind of thing. And David is literally a, a, an angel and he's helped me to later on today because I'm pseudo pre-recording this for next week but later on today a brand new 3000 series graphics card is going to be delivered to me this is the GeForce GTX 360 from Palette um, 12 gig card today and Blows my mind. Oh yeah. Blows my mind. How lucky I am to have a friend like him. On the 15th, I've got a hospital appointment for blood work. To see how well my body's responding to the um, blood thinners, the warfarin, and a few other things. So um, the clots are responding. Um, the ones in my lungs are shrunk to the point where my body's just gonna absorb them. Um, one in my heart has shifted, uh, which caused me to have some chest pains the other day and I panicked and went to the hospital and they said that's that's normal don't worry so I was like great and the one in my brain is actually shrinking so it's all good news it's all good news it's all fantastic news and because it's all good news it's I'm actually happy. I'm I'm actually happy. Um, <laughs> a lot of people keep asking me about the beard. Um why do I keep it? Why haven't I got rid of it? Um uh, things of that nature. And so I'm gonna answer those questions. I keep the beard because if I shave it off, you can see all the facial scars on my face. Um, you can see my, <laughs> you can see my scar above my eyebrow here. Um, you can see, I mean, there's because of the light source, but there's a gouge here. Um, there's a cut here, and there's a scar underneath my chin here. Um, that's from an IED, improvised explosive device. Um, almost killed me. Did kill two of my friends. And I'm very conscientious of my scars. Uh, I'm not ashamed of them. I'm not, I'm just very conscientious of them. And, um, well, my facial hair covers the majority of them up, so that's why I never bother shaving. Um, plus, I'm out of the service, so I don't have to shave anymore, so I don't want to, so if I don't have to. Um, another question was asked, which was, uh, why did I leave America? I left in my own fruition. Um, I lived there for 13 years married to a, at the time a very wonderful woman um, I wish her all the best I do I have no ill will towards her at the time I did at the time I had a lot of uh, darkness and malice and hate in my heart for her for what she did to me 
for what technically I, I, I won't even want to say I did to myself. And if I was to have stayed in the state of Utah, I would have been legal to live there. But because I moved to North Carolina, my immigration paperwork that I had uh, just wasn't recognized. They said, sorry, um, mi casa, su casa, it's no good here. And they said, you can leave voluntarily or we can arrest you and deport you. And I, the INS officer said, if I choose to deport myself, I will be able to come back with the right paperwork. That was a lie. That, I found out later, was a lie. And um, if I was to be deported you know, physically by them, I would be put on a permanent no-entry list, which means I'll never be able to go back to the US, not even for a layover. And... As far as I know, I believe my no entry um, from my self-exile is over, which means I can enter the US, but I have to have a uh, set itinerary. And what that means is I have to have a set plan of where I'm going, what I'm doing, etc. Et and I have to tell uh, I have to go to the embassy in, in in London and tell them exactly everything I'm doing before I even get on a plane. And I may even have to put down a £10,000 bond. Which means if I break that, they get that £10,000. But if I come back, I get that £10,000 back. So, yeah. So now you know why I left. Um, a big part of me has every intention of going back to the US. Um, one of the reasons why I came back to the UK was for my grandmother. Well, she recently passed. She passed in November. Of, um, 2022 and my only other reason is my daughter who's in her 20s now I never really talked about my daughter or my stepdaughter while on Twitch that's because of their own privacy and security kind of thing And um, I respect and value their privacy as much as they respect and value mine. And so now you know, if I was to go back to the US, I'd either go back to a state like Georgia or Texas. Hmm. Yeah, Georgia or Texas. Mm -hmm. Georgia, Texas, definitely one of those two. Would I go back to Utah mm -hmm. for a holiday, maybe for a couple of days um, to live? No, Louisiana, yeah, because it's fun. Mississippi, yeah, because it's fun. The river boats and stuff. Um, North Carolina. I have a lot of 
painful memories in that state. Oh, no. Would I visit states like Boston, Massachusetts, New York, Ohio, and Pittsburgh? Yeah, I think I'd travel to every state. I'd do like the whole 50 state travel thing. Leave Alaska and Hawaii for last. But yeah, I'd definitely do that. Go to like the capital city of every state. With the exception of Utah, of course, because I've been to Salt Lake City. Uh, <laughs> and um, North Carolina, of course, because. Yeah. It looks quite close to Charlotte. But yeah. And. What would I do? I'd still do my Twitch thing. I'd, oh, YouTube, because I'm not on Twitch anymore. You know, let, let me address the Twitch ban. Okay. A lot of people think that the reason why I got banned on Twitch um, is bullshit. And I used to be one of those people. I used to be firmly in the camp of it's bullshit. However, finger in the air. All things happen for a reason. And so... Because all things happen for a reason, I don't want to go back to Twitch. I have a secondary Twitch account I watch other streamers on. You know, and, and 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 get my prime gaming bone bundles and stuff of the games that I play, but I have no interest on actually streaming on that channel. Um, one, I can't because it's a ban. You know, you're trying to get around a ban, things of that nature. Um, but most importantly, I genuinely have no interest on st streaming on Twitch. Um, I get it. To some, Twitch is is the biggest platform out there. And you know what? I don't care. L let it be the biggest platform out there. I genuinely don't care. Um, good luck to them. I really don't care. Um, I've had offers from bigger channels to help get my channel back. I don't want it back. I don't want it back. I don't. I don't want it back. Um, let it die part of my past um, it is what it is and I'm moving on uh, I'm legit moving on and I genuinely don't care so how did the band come about well I was playing Call of Duty Warzone DMZ I was live streaming it, and I was in an open lobby, my own fault, I should have muted the lobby, I was in an open lobby, and some derogatory words were being said in the lobby, and Twitch, Twitch's automated system was like, oh, oh, you said it, so my channel gets banned, I tried to appeal it. I said to him, it wasn't me that was saying it, it was someone else in in the party, the group, and whatnot. They said, well, you should have known better. I'm like, fair enough. I should have known better. Um, and so it's a permanent ban. It's an indefinite in in suspension. And you know what? Don't care. Um, it, it allows me to focus on YouTube. It allows me to focus on content like the Coffee Time with Cobra. It allows me to focus on my... Thank you, phone. On my YouTube content. And frankly, that's all I want to do right now. I want to slowly turn the wheels. I don't want to... 
go full bore off the cliff at a thousand miles an hour. Oh, this coffee's almost done, so. But, um, anyway, guys, take your vitamins. Coffee's done. Video's done. And I'm going to leave you these with these words of wisdom. Don't count calories. Don't count deadlifts. Stop counting the things that you think make you you. Count the blessings that are in your life instead. See you guys. See you in the next one.